Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you're having a blessed day. So normally I do an intro and talk to you as I'm driving. Today's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I've I usually go fishing on Thursdays with Topwater Johnny. We've been going in the mornings lately so that he can get uh, some Topwater bites. But I thought it might be, instead of doing three separate videos over three, the last three, last couple few Thursday mornings, I thought I'd just put it all into one. Um, and you'll see. The pond has big fish, but I seem to catch a lot of smaller fish. Maybe. A little foreshadowing there. So... Today it's about a DOA 5 inch Cinco. It's also about a hyperelastic worm stick. I think I catch one on a, I haven't edited it yet so I could be wrong. I think I catch one on a new uh, cross eyes chatterbait from Z-Man. The Savage Gear 3D Bluegill comes out. And then on the first cast with the worm after an unbelievable, horrible, screwed up I don't even know what you want to say I had my worm and hook all messed up took me six seven minutes to get it all figured out make the first cast and it was on so you'll see that too so I hope you guys are having a blessed day I hope you enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button help me and the algorithm and get more get more views help people learn about the channel Hope you are a subscriber too, so subscribe, like, comment, and click the notification bell. But let's do this. Let's get our fish on, okay? Hope you're having a blessed day. Cheers. He came up and ate that chatterbait. That's the biggest one of the day for me. Probably a pound, maybe a pound at that most. Out there on those lily pads. That's all right. I've switched to a worm, a DOA worm, and I'm waiting the front. Wacky rigging it. I'm putting two extra ones in my pocket and putting the chatterbait in there for now. And getting my sunglasses. Sun's coming up, finally. Sun is poking out, so I'm hoping that will get these fish a little bit more eating than what's happening right now. I think this little cold front has got them a little confused. They might think that it, I don't even know what they're thinking. It dropped down to 60 last night, so I haven't seen as much action on the top as I normally do here. Usually they're striking, you know, minnows or whatever fry on the on the edges, and today they're not doing that. So that's why I switched over to a, a worm too, thinking it might be something that needs to be slower. None at all. I got one right here. Worm always does it, man. Damn. That's all weird. Don't ever say a worm doesn't work. DOA worm, Cinco. Oh, that's a better fish. Yeah. Hey. All right. The size of this turtle. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Dude, that's a monster. Here's a bite. Yeah, but it's on a worm. And he's snagged now. First cast on a worm. First cast on a worm. Beautiful looking fish. Look how beautiful that fish is. That is a beautiful fish. Nice, great colors. Little one, another pretty little one. That fish I was telling you about. There it is. Told you it was sitting there waiting to be fed. <laughs> He's a little one, but he was sitting over there waiting. What do we got here? Oh, we finally got a decent little fish. On the chatterbait too. Nice. That's all right there. I will take that one. I will take that one. A little one still ate it. I hope I'm filming. So we're on our way. We've got uh, we've got the normal. To be honest, I feel like I repeat myself every time I go to someplace. I brought a Cinco with me course uh, and I brought the new Savage Gear 3D Bluegill with me today swim bait and stick bait why I know there's a ton of bluegill in here that they eat uh, and I think they want to go after swim baits uh, the fallback is if I'm not catching any fish I want to catch at least one fish it isn't like this is a terrible drive over to this place but if it's, a, it's a little bit of a drive, it's 10 or 15 minutes, and which isn't really that much, but it's 10 or 15 minutes, and I want to catch one thing. I want to catch at least something. So we've got the stick bait, and we know that uh, the DOA worm, we know that works. So we don't have any, we don't have any questions about that one. So we're going to go over here like we do every Thursday. Uh, usually it's Thursday evenings. Lately we've been going Thursday mornings, and we leave about... Uh, it's 640 now, 640 and 70, 70 degrees outside. So usually it's, uh, we get to fish for about an hour, hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes, and then it's back home to do work. So uh, I can only hope that we're on fire. There is some clouds and some rain, it looks like, coming in. It's still been, since last week, it's been cooler than normal for the middle of May. I mean, every morning has been 70 degrees. That doesn't happen down here. Usually it's 82, 83 degrees at, at six o'clock in the morning. And we have 95, 96 degree weather. Lately, it hasn't been like that. It's been in the mid eighties. It's been beautiful weather. It's been one of the nicest, you know, Mays 
in a long, long time. So I feel like I've droned on. Anyway, let's get our fish on. That was a monster! <laughs> it followed it. It followed it all the way in, huh? Wow. Oh my god! Dude. Wow. You had a follow. -up. It was coming for that. I hope to God I got that on camera. All the way to right there. So I've come up with a game plan for today. Today is about one way I'm gonna fish the bluegill on the way down, on the way back it's still gonna be the worm. And now I know the worm is gonna get me more bites, but the quality bites are gonna come off this bluegill for sure. That was a bite or some weeds. Felt like a bite. Same time, it felt like weeds. It was weeds. something there. First fish on this bite. Where is it? Nice. Oh, you got to be joking me. You know, we haven't been out here very long. Usually I stay here about till about 8, 8, 15, 8, 30. I will say I'm impressed by that, that savage gear lure. I'm very impressed. I like it a lot. But when the times get tough. Oh. Well, you to redo this one. Oh, I got a big fish! This is a giant! Look at that pig. Wow. Here, let me take a picture of you with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful, man. That's what we come here for, man. Here, bring her back up. Oh, she wants to go. I'll film you one more time saying something. Holy crap, that is what it's about. I come out here, I'm not having a good day. I finally switched to a DOA worm on my first cast. That fish crushed, didn't even crush it. He just barely picked it up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. What happened was on that one was the, I cast it and when it landed, I didn't feel 
it, I didn't feel it land. It kind of just sank. So when I twitched it, I thought I actually was caught on the lily pads. Now excuse me because I'm unbelievably excited and hard to talk. But then when I twitched it, I couldn't, I couldn't feel anything. So that's why I twitched it and I just let it sit. So I did that and then that's when I felt the slightest thump and it was that fish just sitting there in underneath that lily pad. Here's another one right here. I'm two for two with this worm. Not a big one, but all right. Well, I'm back home. I was gonna do the outro there. Not the best day numbers wise, but my gosh, the DOA worm crushed it. So the goal was today, I was gonna fish one way with that 3D, that new 3D uh, bluegill from Savage Gear. And I got that strike on right at my feet on that first one and then I caught that other one and then it, it got loose. And then the, on the way back, I was just going to fish a DOA Cinco. And very first cast after, and you'll see it, or you've seen it now, was that, that big fish. And I messed with the hook for literally six or seven minutes. The hook was completely messed up. So I cut everything off, retied, did everything, and then made that cast. And I barely felt it. I mean, it was the, the tiniest little tick. And then I realized it was on. And, and so after that, I only made like three or four casts. I caught another one on the very next cast with that DOA Cinco. And uh, then to Johnny and I just walked back to the car and talked. And, and I had a great time. So I thank Johnny for going out there again. I really enjoy going out there fishing with that dude on, on Thursdays, mornings, or evenings. So I don't know if you're in the neighborhood and you want to go fish with us, by all means, you're welcome to come with us. Check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below for uh, Topwater Johnny. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. So, take your kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thanks for everything. Seriously, thank you for everything. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.